So what's your puzzle? Flowers. Like what kind of flowers? Like flowers. Don't touch my puzzle. You're gonna, no, you're gonna mess it up. Don't touch my puzzle. Stop it. Stop. Stop. How about a review wine instead? Oh God, please. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm reviewing another Trader Joe's wine. It's actually their two buck chuck. It's the Charles Shaw uh, Pinot Grigio. Uh, it's a 2016 from California, Bronco Wine Company, and it is some percent alcohol by volume. I can never find it on these bottles. Oh, it's like microscopic. 12.5% alcohol by volume. So, let's pour a sample and take a look. No screw top, so Trader Joe's, you guys need to work on that. Seriously. Uh, but from a color standpoint, it actually is more of like a lemon color. Um, it actually kind of matches up to this piece right here. And it is just very interesting shade of yellow. Like, I normally expect to see Pinot Grigio is a little bit lighter than what I'm seeing here. But, who knows. No artifacts, no cloudiness, so, uh, at least it looks like it's well made. Let's get a nose. Oh, there's a good amount of pear. Uh, some apple. Yeah, pear and apple, that's pretty much it. There's a hint of acid. I can smell the acid on the nose, so I'm hoping it's high acid. I, I don't know, but let's taste it. Okay, I'll say it's probably about, probably about medium high acid. Uh, a lot of apple, as soon as I put it, like a lot of uh, red apple on the, the palate, but it quickly moves into the pear and it actually pretty much stays pear mid palate all the way through the finish. Um, it's really quite nice. And <laughs> um, that it's, it's a nice refreshing wine a little sugary after the fin finish kind of tapers off. It's kind of, but the residual sugar is a little bit higher. It's not too bad though. Not too bad. So if I had to rate this, which I do, because this is my channel, that's what I do here. Um, I'd give you a good. No, not there. There's not enough room there. Good. I'll cover up the white. Um, it, it had, it does its job. I mean, especially for $2 Pinot Grigio. If I want to do Pinot Grigio, I'd probably go out and get it. So you know what I'm going to do? No. No, it's not good. I'm going to say it's very good. Stop. It's very good. Um, because for $2, the fact I'm getting a Pinot Grigio, it has a lot of flavor, um, is pretty darn impressive. So good job, Trader Joe's. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Trader Joe's Charles Shaw Bronco Wine Company 2016 California Pinot Grigio? I did that in one take. They need to shorten that name. <laughs> if you have, please leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime... Don't touch my puzzle. Don't touch my puzzle! Oh my god, don't do it! Stop! I don't. Wait, go. Subscribe. <sighs> like. All the, the videos, the things. Get away! Alright, stop it. God, <laughs> go away! <laughs>